Asset management allows you to add and track important and or high value assets assigned to an employee's record. In a separate session, we look at how to create our asset categories and our asset types. Now, we're going to add actual assets in the system. This is done by going to Facilities and then Assets. Here we would see any assets that we have already been created. Since there is none, we can click on Add to add a new asset. From the drop down here, you select the asset type that you want to add details for. In this case, we'll select laptop. By default, you can add only one asset, but you can also add multiple assets rounded into one asset type. You can click on the add line button, which adds one line at the time, or you can enter the number of additional items you need to add, and then you click add multiple. As you can see, here are a series of fields for you to add as much information as possible to be able to uniquely identify the asset. First, we'll give here our asset a name. In this case, we'll add Lenovo. We could also add a unique asset tag number. And we can add information such as the serial number, the warranty expiry, who the supplier was, the condition of the asset, and also where it is located. Next, we can choose Andy Bernard as the owner of the asset, but please note this is not necessarily the same person to whom the asset is assigned. In our example, Andy Bernard is the head of the IT department and so is the owner of all technology assets, including all laptops. Here, you can add a number value or a word to describe the risk of loss of this asset, followed by a singular value or word to describe the impact of the loss, and finally, the probability of the loss. When we have added all the necessary fields for this asset, you can click on Submit to finish. And then we can see that one asset has been successfully added. Now we'll scroll down and click on Cancel. And here we can see the asset listed that we have just added. You can click here to add an image to this asset to help visually identify it, but perhaps to also record the condition of the asset as well. And here, you can drag and drop an image here, or you can scroll down and add. Now that you found your image, at the top of the screen, we can see the file name, the file size, and the status, in which in this case, shows the file as has not been uploaded. To upload a file, you must click on the Start Upload right here. And then we can see that it is 100% complete. If we return to our list view of assets and then click on Images again, we can now see the image that we have uploaded for this asset. Now we've seen how we can add a single or multiple assets. We'll look at how to bulk upload assets. So to do this, you must go to Administration, Company, and then Bulk Upload. Here you can see that there are lots of different bulk uploads that you can perform, including company structure, employees, time and attendance, other data, recruitment, and finally, you can see the assets bulk upload and the non-core data at the bottom of your screen. Clicking on the assets icon, we can see the bulk upload asset screen. We can see here that there is a link to download a CSV model. This is a template you can use to add your asset data and then upload. 
When adding data, you can choose what method you wish to use to identify the employee by the system ID, the employee's name, or works ID. So now we'll browse to and upload the bulk of our laptop CSV. This is a file containing multiple assets in this case, which is more laptops. Once you've found your file, you can click here to preview the data in this file and make sure it is correct before going ahead with the upload. So if everything's okay, we can click on submit to upload the file. Now we can see the upload was successful. 16 assets were added and there were no data integrity issues. And it is worth noting that any assets already in the system would not be uploaded again in order to avoid duplication. Now returning to facilities and then assets, we can now see all of our assets listed, one of which was already added manually, and the remaining that were already added via bulk upload. In a separate session, we'll look at how to assign or check out an asset to an employee, check in back again, and view the asset history.